Hello there, it's the Archivist from TradingCardArchives.com and I'm here on a Wednesday night uh, filming because I have way too much mail. <laughs> this happens once in a while. Uh, it happens like two or three times a year actually. Uh, but usually I get like, you know, one or two packages a month and it's not too bad. But every once in a while things will align and I'll be doing like multiple things at once and I'll just end up with a bunch of packages. And we have five right now. This is the smallest of them, so they're just going to get bigger from here. Uh, but we need to get these opened. Uh, just We're not going to open the cards, but we're just going to look at all the boxes and just make sure, you know, that everything arrived properly and stuff so I can let people know, uh, you know, that their shipping worked. And on AliExpress, I can go and, like, you know, market received. Yeah, just so I can do that kind of logistic stuff. Uh, but, yeah, there's a lot. Uh, I'm just looking over at the pile and kind of like, I, I, this might be a long video, I'm sorry. Uh, but we, we got to get it all open, so... Uh, well, I will get started. Uh, yeah, so these are all going to be different kinds of trading cards. Uh, I have been doing a couple different things, and that's why I ended up with so much. Um, I don't know what happened, but I... Well, I kind of know what happened, but yeah, I got, like, on this, like, nostalgia kick, and I was thinking about, you know, older properties that I, I love, mostly comic books and things uh, from when I was a kid, and going and looking to see if they had trading cards, right? And in a lot of cases, they do, but they're like $800 or $900 a box or something, like like the He-Man cards, which I would love to get, uh, are $800 a box, no joke. And that's just, I can't do, that's just way too much, right? So as I was looking, though, I, I would find things once in a while, and so I kept making these lists and, and putting different things on the list and taking it off the list and putting it back on the list. And in, in the end, I, I ended up buying, I think, like four different sets that represent you know, different parts of my childhood. And I kind of want to do like a, like a series of nostalgia openings using those. So that's what most of this is going to be. Uh, but we also have a few AliExpress sets. These come from that big order I put in, uh, I guess a couple of weeks ago now. I had made a post about it uh, with just a bunch of cool sets because like a new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles set came out, a new DC set, that kind of stuff. And so I just picked up a bunch of things again. Um, this one isn't even from that. that. That's over there. This one is actually even from a much older order than that. It just took a long time to get here. I, I don't know why, but this box, this on AliExpress, sometimes that happens. Sometimes you'll get it in like a week. No joke, like a week. I've had it in less than, I've had, I've had stuff arrive in like four days before. It's kind of freaky. Uh, but then other times it'll be like a month, a month and a half, two months. <laughs> And, and you're like about to give up on it and then it shows up. That's sort of what this is. So this was part of a larger order where I got everything else in that order. That was all the Three Kingdoms cards. I've even done a video on those already, right? Uh, but I, I never got this part of the order until uh, like yesterday, I think. And this is a... <laughs> I'm laughing a little bit, but it's an Evangelion set. <laughs> Uh, so another Evangelion set. I'm not sure who made this one. It's apparently the second in a series, so I'm hoping that that makes it better. Um, if you remember, I really did not like the other Evangelion set. In fact, I still have it down there. Uh, what I'm going to do is kind of a comparison. I'll open the rest of that box, and then we'll take a look at this box too. Um, but I mean, you can tell from the cover already, this one looks much better, right? At, at least it's got one of the Evangelions on the cover which is great. Uh, I've looked at the flyer too, and the cards look much nicer in this set. So I'm really hopeful that we get some good uh, Evangelion cards from here. But uh, if not, I tried. I tried. I'm sorry. But uh, we're not going to open it today. But that is the first thing we received. And then, oh my. Ah. Continuing the uh, AliExpress theme. We'll get these done, and then we'll move into the Western cards. So this will be like a mix of alley cards and western cards, which I think is going to be a lot of fun. Like, I haven't bought new western cards in almost a year. Like, I've been kind of working with the slow ones I, had, I, I bought a while ago, uh, and there's still some I haven't opened. <laughs> but, you know, I felt like it was time to refresh a little bit, get some new stuff into the archives, and, uh, you know, maybe show, show everybody some other parts of the trading card hobby that maybe you didn't know existed, right? Because that's... A lot of what I'm trying to do on the channel is show everybody things they didn't know about, right? Either because they think, they, like, literally it's not even in our country, most of this stuff, 
or it's just old or it's things you would never think exist. <laughs> like what when I open some of those up, you're gonna be like, what? they made a trading card set from it? They did. They make yeah, so that's that's what I'm trying to get that kind of a reaction. Uh so that's where a lot of this stuff is is motivated from. And and the things that I put on that list and then removed from the list are all you know sort of in that category, I hope. Uh, this looks like it has the new DC sets in it, which is very exciting. Um, I, I thought it was going to be the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, but it does look like it is DC cards. Uh, I had planned to get... Oh, sorry, that's heavy. I had planned to get four boxes of these, but in the end, uh, I could only swing two. So, I got two. And if they are good, of course we can get more. Uh, but I just couldn't I couldn't bear to buy four at once from them. So we'll be looking at that first. And then this, the last thing in there, is a new one piece set. So you know we love our, our one piece sets, and this one is by Lucky Card. Now I've never opened a Lucky Card uh, one piece box before. So this is going to be a lot of fun. Apparently it's the eighth in their set. The eighth one? Wow, they've done... I don't know if that's true. Uh, but but the, the box cover looks great. The cards look great. We have seen other Lucky Card sets. We've looked at a Bleach Lucky Card set. And that was really awesome. And I'm blanking, but there was another one I looked at that was, that was really good too. So yeah, I'm very hopeful that this will be um, some really nice cards. Uh, we'll look at that in a bit. Now these DC ones here are super interesting. This just popped up on AliExpress like a couple weeks ago and was pretty much the motivation for this order was to get these and the, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles ones. With, but I guess those aren't here yet, but they should get here this weekend, I think. Um, but yeah, this box looks amazing, right? I thought it was just black, but you can see it actually has all the logos on it. And then it... Uh, I guess it has like a, oh, it's going to be like a pull drawer. That's kind of cool. And it says Detective Comics. So that's what the DC stands for, uh, Detective Comics. And I guess that's going to be the company that made it. Now, I'm <laughs> I'm never quite sure, but uh, as far as I know, Kayo owns the DC license in the China market right now. So I'm pretty sure who's ever making these, they're, boot, they're bootlegs. I'm almost certain. And when I open one, I'll show you the flyer. You can go look look, look at the flyer. This set's all over right now. Uh, but yeah, it, it's a it's a weird flyer. Like there are uh, there are cards in here from basically every DC thing you can think of. It's pretty crazy, uh, including like in the flyer they list all the different Joker cards that they have, and they have like the jo they have like Jack Nicholson's Joker. They have uh, all the way through. Um, the Joker movie, uh, you know, Joaquin Phoenix's Joker, like all of them have cards. There's like 20 Joker cards. It's kind of insane. The only thing I didn't see was like Lego Batman. I don't think they're going to have Lego Batman in here, but otherwise everything else uh, should be in this box somewhere. Uh, but, but like I said, we're not we're not going to open that today. So that's just kind of a preview for later. Let me put that aside. So we have to keep going here because we have more to open. Uh, okay, so this is very heavy. I'm on. Sh this one is one of the eBay orders, so it's, I think it's going to be Mad Magazine, just because of how heavy it is. But uh, I'm I'm not sure. <laughs> but we'll get it opened here. It does seem to be very well packed, which is nice, and it arrived fast. Like this seller uh, shipped it to me in like three days. I think a very very quick shipping. Uh, same with the other one I'm about to get. Although I ordered those from two different sellers. There we go. Yeah, okay, we've got a nice little bubble wrap cocoon in there. Always good to see. <laughs> if I didn't just show, I think I just showed my draft. I might have to blank that out. Uh, but okay, let's, um, yeah, it's mad for sure. So there's one, and there's All right, so this is <laughs> uh, apparently limited, right? They 
they did limit these. I don't know if that's true or not. They're they're not that expensive. These boxes you can get uh, one of these boxes for about forty to fifty dollars, something like that. Uh, but they apparently were limited by case. Um, let me put them in the right order. <laughs> the yellow one there is the first edition, and the green one is the second edition. And they both are, are sort of, um, I think, like 55. Yeah, they're 55 card sets, and they feature uh, covers of the magazine, uh, the Mad Magazine. Now, when I was growing up, I, I don't know about you, but when I was growing up, this magazine was huge. Like, I owned, I had stacks of this thing in my closet, like three foot high stacks of of Mad Magazine issues. I had all, so many of these. Uh, there still are a lot of movies, like uh, The Godfather. I've never actually seen that movie, but I know all about it because I've read the Mad parody, right? So I know the movie, but I've just never actually seen it. Uh, so anyway, uh, these, I've wanted these for a long, long, long time. Um, I finally kind of did the order because I, I like I said, I'm, I'm lining up a series of sort of nostalgia videos. I'll do maybe three or four in a row. Uh, and that's kind of why I did this. Um, the reason that I, I've always hesitated to buy it is, you, I mean, you can't tell, but these are very heavy boxes. There's 36 packs of 11 cards each in here, uh, right? That's almost 400 cards in each box. And the sets are only 55 cards. That means you open one of these up, you're probably going to get four or five complete sets, right, from this. Uh, which you can then go sell the complete sets for twenty, thirty dollars. So, uh, opening these it does seem profitable, assuming you could sell. I don't know if, how well that will sell or not. Um, but me, I'm really just interested in getting one complete set. So what I was planning to do with these boxes is sort of like I did with that uh, Yo Gabba Gabba video where I was completing it. Is we're just going to open packs until we get a full set. Uh, it should be a lot easier than Yo Gabba Gabba because that, that one had like 99 cards, I think. This one has 55 to get. Uh, so we should be able to get there. And as you can see, there are still some uh, some promos and things in here, right? But not much. These um, Alfred E. Newman holograms are kind of the big pulls from here. Um, but yeah, I don't know if they're <laughs> actually going to be uh, that rare or not, but we'll see. Uh, but anyway, uh, that's Mad Magazine. This should be, should be a fun one to open, I think. We'll get into that a little bit later here. Quick so you can kind of see the edges too. Uh, but yeah, this company, Lime Rock, not around anymore, but they're, they're the ones that made this. Um, oh, on the back of this, you can join their uh, trader club. You get $29.95 for a one-year, four-issue membership. Huh. Well, probably wasn't a great deal back then, but still it <laughs> doesn't seem like a good deal now either. I don't think they actually exist, so don't need to worry too much about that. Uh, okay, so now the, uh, the next box here. This one comes from Dave and Adams. So I, I don't know if, you, if you've been watching the channel since the beginning, uh, you know that I do order from them once in a while. That's where I got my alien cards from. Uh, a lot of my sports cards, I'll get there. I, I get like, all my sports cards uh, I get from Dave and Adam. Uh, I like buying from them because they have a uh, kind of a cool reward tier system that you can sort of earn your way through. Uh, and they do free shipping as long as you get over one one ninety nine, which is not hard to do with trading cards. Usually one box will get you over that. Um, but this particular order I did because... Uh, they were offering something that I actually had not seen for a very long time uh, anywhere. And I was just kind of really excited to get, to, let me get these out. Well, let's take a look at it here. <laughs> yeah, that's dumb. I know. <laughs> Don't worry. Let's see. There we go. Sorry about that. Um, and they also always give you like a free gift. Uh, when you order from them. So what did we get here? We got two Sculptastic Worlds Collide. This is a uh, Craniacs? I'm unsure what this is. Maybe a some sort of a promo? Yeah, 
Yeah, okay, so this is a promo for some new set. Okay, I, I don't know what that is. Um, probably some, something similar to Garbage Pail Kids, I guess, uh, which is what this is. So this is Garbage Pail Kids Chrome, uh, which is not a very popular uh, product at all. But people are probably like, why did you buy that? Uh, I bought this because I got it for like $28, this whole box, right? These boxes were like $200 when they were new. I know that seems completely insane, but they were. Uh, now you can buy them for less than $30 uh, pretty reliably. And that's where I got this one from. Um, it's not going to be the best uh, set of cards or anything like that. We've actually opened a couple of these already. I had a blaster of this once. Um, but... It'll still be fun. Uh, we'll probably rip the whole thing in one video or something. I don't know, at some point. Um, but yeah, anyway, we got uh, our Garbage Pail Chrome there. And then here is something pretty interesting. This is uh, Vampirella cards. Now, you might not know who that is, uh, but it's fine. Uh, it's a comic book. She's, she's a comic book character uh, who's been featured in comic books for like 40 years, like all kinds of different properties uh, and franchises. The artist that that uh, draws her has, has really been successful at getting her into so many different properties. But she is most famous for trading cards. <laughs> Honestly, I'm not even joking. Uh, if you go on eBay and search this word, you'll see there's like hundreds of different sets available uh, featuring her and her artwork. And it's kind of this, you know, horror, sexy kind of thing. So sort of like waifu cards a little bit, but uh, vampires. Uh, yeah, and, and most recently, actually, they had a very premium set where you could get one pack for $100 of Vampirella cards. Like just a couple months ago, that, that was uh, available. Uh, and of course, I didn't do that. I actually don't have any Vampirella cards. This is my first that I've ever bought. Um, but I got these because um, they, they're pretty cheap on uh david adams had a, had them for fairly cheap uh and it's not a bad set like it's a pretty good set uh, if you've ever watched any of my elvira videos which is another i collect a lot of elvira cards too i know you, you probably never saw them but i do do that quite a bit actually uh i actually have a binder of elvira stuff uh i love her trading cards too and she has a set that's the same as this so uh, there's like an Elvira set and a Vampirella set. They sort of go together, except you can't really buy the Elvira one. It's like impossible. Or if you find a box, it'll be like thousands of dollars. Uh, so I've had to buy those individual cards. So I've had some vendors who uh, have helped me to sort of source individual cards. So I have a full set, but it took a, took a while to get it. Uh, but I, I was never going to be able to get that by opening packs just because it's too expensive. But Vampirella's matching set, this is the same type of product here, uh, I think we can get a complete set out of this by opening uh, opening this up. So anyway, uh, should be should be interesting. Uh, I, I don't I've never really looked at these before, but it's just another thing I, I remember, you know, from my childhood that I, I kind of wanted to see. Uh, but this was the main thing. So this uh, this is Sandman. So, and that's the comic book, like the original uh, Neil Gaiman comic. Uh, it, uh, there were a series of comics that came out in the early, mid-90s, uh, and they all kind of had artwork like this on the covers, and it features, you know, these uh, supernatural beings like Dream and Delirium and stuff, and there's this adventure story with the Corinthian, and... It's a very cool story. They actually adapted it live action on Netflix. Uh, and I watched that and loved it. And I own all the comic books. In fact, when I open this, I'll bring out some of my like super collector edition ones. Because I have like the comics of this, but they're in these massive, huge forms. <laughs> um, which costs hundreds of dollars. <laughs> I'm kind of crazy. Um, but yeah, I have those. So I can bring those and show you to them. Uh, show them to you. Um, but this trading card set, uh, I've always been interested in. Since I started the project, I've always wanted this set. Uh, but it's always been just like a little bit too expensive. It's usually like $120 or something, just like slightly more than I want to pay for it. Uh, but for some reason, Dave and Adams, I don't know what, they must have bought out some store or something because they had this and this. They're all gone now, but they had it for like a couple days. 
Uh, and when I saw it, I was like, yes, I'll get that. Because they were selling these for $89, which is honestly an amazing price for uh, this product. Uh, when we when we start to um, open this up, you'll see the cards are just very beautiful cards. Um, they're oversized cards, so they're going to be taller than a typical trading card. They won't fit into my sleeves or anything, uh, but it's okay. I'll figure out some way to store them. Uh, and then that's a Skybox product. Skybox is a company that's now owned by uh, Upper Deck, I think, owns them. Um, but they, they used to be their own publisher. What the, the main thing about this, though, is like today I own all those like really expensive collector editions of the comics. But back when this was first coming out, I would actually ride my bike to a local hardware store, <laughs> which the hardware store was the only place that sold comic books. They had they had like a couple magazines and a couple of comic books and then all these like hammers and nails and stuff. Uh, and so I would ride my bike there every week and get the new issue of Sandman and Crow. I would get the Crow too. Uh, those are kind of the two that I was reading back then. Uh, and so I actually like when I was growing up, bought all those comic books as they came out, right? And read it like a series. Uh, so that I kind of really have a good memory of this uh, this franchise. Uh, this, on the other hand, I, I have no idea what this is. I don't know. Uh, it's apparently a Topps product. Uh, but this was a free gift, so I really don't know a whole lot about this. But I figured we just open it up now and take a look at what's in here. Uh, I'm not expecting much. Uh, the thing with Dave and Adams is they are mostly a sports card store. So when when they get things like this in and you want like a free gift in the entertainment category, they don't have a lot of choices. <laughs> I think it was really like just this was maybe the only choice. Or maybe they give you like some Magic the Gathering sleeves. Uh, but this was the only actual cards. Uh, so I, I chose it as my free gift. Uh, but I, I don't know what they are, what to really expect from them. And if you know anything about this, let me know. I, I haven't done any research at all either. Um, but let's see. I'm guessing, oh wow, there's a rule book inside. Huh, every pack has a rule book in it. That's pretty crazy. Uh, so it's some kind of like element based system. Uh, seems to be sort of like war <laughs> okay so it's like the, the card game war i guess very very simplified uh game and then let's look at the cards we got quickly I, i'm not like expecting much here but uh, there's a two star warrior two star warrior uh that's a talisman i guess and so those are the elements that is Kasim, a four-star warrior. Okay. Well, who knows? Maybe that's a really fancy card. I can go comp it and try to find out. Uh, well, this one's even better, though. This guy is uh, six. Although we, we don't say this uh, this word is kind of... Uh, <laughs> that's sort of not a good word to use anymore. Um, we would say native peoples, but... And one-star warriors... Uh, let's go, you know, I'm I'm feeling feeling lucky. Let's go comp this. I'll be right back and I'll let you know if that was worth anything. $2.35. So not really. But uh, hey, pretty good, huh? Apparently that is a parallel version of him. So worth a little bit more. But I guess whatever this is, is from 2015. So this is old, some old card game or something. Anyway, that wasn't the point. The point was these things. So, cool. All right, we are not done. There's one more box. It's the biggest box, although I think it only has one thing in it. Um, but it's really big, so let me make some room here. Oh my god, huge, right? This, it, whatever's in here is not this big. I think they just really overpacked it, which I don't mind at all. That's great. This is uh, this is crazy. It's like packed up like an AliExpress set. It's got uh, this wrapping around it. And it's popcorn. <laughs> box is some kind of popcorn box. Huh? 
I guess they just he was maybe uh, reusing <laughs> reusing another box. I guess. Uh, let's see what's in here. That is boxes inside of boxes. Like I said, this I think this only has one thing in it. It's just this huge, huge box for it. Like this is kind of an obscenely huge box for what it is, which is weird because I think it costs more to ship when you do that. Uh, but I, I don't. I don't really know if that's true or not. It must, right? Like, if your box is bigger, it must cost more to ship it. So why not use a size appropriate box? Eh. Okay. Okay, okay. So, so far, so good. We've got a lot of <laughs> plastics in here. More plastic. We've got some old, very old, uh, very old flyer. Okay, here's the actual thing. What a mess. Okay, sorry. This is going to take me a while to clean all this up later. It's, like, honestly, there's a huge pile of stuff over there. I'll, I'll take a picture, maybe, for Instagram. Some more bubble wrap. I always joke with commenters that once you get into this hobby, you will never need bubble wrap. So much bubble wrap. <laughs> Again, this is incredibly well sealed. Uh, it wasn't very expensive, so I'm not sure why it, it got packed up this nicely. But... Ah, here we go. It's still there's another uh, still another thing. Cover it up. Okay. Uh, so, okay, here we go. This is, uh... Sorry, I know this noise is really annoying. Sorry about that. Alright. Okay. Here we go. It is a sealed box of Saturday Night Live trading cards. Look at that. You got... Toonsis, you got Coneheads, you got Wayne's World. Uh, it's by a company called Starpix. Um, new values and collectible cards. They are not uh, not around anymore as a company. Uh, this is another 1992 set. You can kind of tell when I was a teenager. It was about 1992. That's about right. Uh, but yeah, this is going to be great. It it goes over. It goes through all of. Um, Saturday Night Live from that year back, right? So you can see there's like a John John Belushi card. So this goes back in time and also has the you know the current cool stuff from that year, like Wayne's World and things that was really popular that year. Uh, but it's not gonna have any of the newer stuff. So I kind of like that because it's gonna be like a pure nostalgia set. Uh, this is a larger set though. There's about 150 total cards, and I, I can't see any where it says so, but I believe there's some special inserts in here, but I'm not entirely sure what they are. Uh, but there are some inserts of some type in here, I think. Uh, but basically 150 cards set. Uh, it's 36 packs in here, and there's going to be 10 cards per pack. And I just love the, uh, the 90s design. It's just perfect. Like, everything's perfect about this. Uh, so why don't I get everything out on the table here, and we'll take some pictures, uh, some nostalgia pictures here for ourselves. And sorry, this is such a weird, such a weird mix of things. Uh, but if you know me, you know I love love my weird mixes. So there we go. There is our nostalgia plan. It's going to be Mad Magazine, Saturday Night Live, Sandman, and Vampirella. Although uh, she's still around, but uh, back then. There we go. Maybe uh, get it all in the picture. <laughs> okay. Let me take that picture. Cool. Uh, and then... Like those are heavy. like you if you've never bought a full box of trading cards before when it's 36 packs like that they're heavy like those are you know they're not that heavy but they're hard to carry with just one hand <laughs> like 
God, <laughs> this is gonna be a strange video, uh, strange mix here for sure. We got uh, DC in one piece. Uh, so that is Evangelion, DC, One Piece, and Garbage Pill Kids. <laughs> Perfect. All right, uh, I'm gonna stop the video now because we've got everything unboxed and opened. I need to clean up over there. Oh my god, it's a huge mess. Uh, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed watching me unbox all these. Um, look for these videos maybe in a couple weeks. I I'm not sure when I'll be able to record some of this stuff. Uh, I'm really, really interested in this set, so I'll probably record that first. Um, but you know how it goes. I I so anything could happen. Uh, but yeah, if there's something you particularly want to see from this that uh, you know you're super interested in, leave a comment. Uh, that always helps me out. And if I see a comment, you know, I'll be like, oh, okay, well, I'll, I'll do that because that person wants that, right? Uh, instead, I'm just sitting here thinking for myself what I might do. So, uh, yeah. So, uh, okay. Anyway, uh, I had fun. Hope you had fun. It's happy Wednesday. It's Wednesday night. Uh, okay. Catch you later. Bye-bye.